Hey guys, Lenny here. Just uh, thought I'd do a shop update, kind of let you guys know what I'm working on and what's going on around the shop right now. Uh, been, I fig figured out the last bug on my course, on my giant Corsair here, was the the choke was vibrating shut. When I had the little wire that would pull it to choke it and push it back in, it was it was, it was vibrating out during flight and, and making the engine stop. So uh, I just pulled the choke off of it. I, I'm not going to need it. I used a starter on it anyhow. So I just I had a... And it kind of scuffed it up when it, when it landed, you know, on that time. So it kind of messed the cowling up. So I redid the cowling. I bought a new cowl for it, and uh, I got it all fixed up, and got the W radio put back in there, and you know, got it weathered. And so it's it's ready to go. The fuse that was the only damage that was on the fuse, so that's all set. And uh, just uh, I got my I sent my ro retracts into Robart about a month ago, and um, haven't heard from them, and can't get a hold of them. So uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what's going on with them right now. So I bought a new pair of retracts. I wanted to have an extra set anyhow. So I got those. I got those installed in the wing, and uh, I got the little block here getting glued on for the gear door. So that's that's setting up right now. I got it all high salt, so that should be that should be ready to go. So I'm just gonna have to throw it on the balancer, and make sure nothing's changed, and I think we'll be I think we'll be good to go. I think we got all the bugs worked out of this course here, so it's gonna hopefully have a nice long life and plenty of flights. So I'm looking forward to getting that thing back up in the air. Uh, the next thing I'm working on is this uh, is this Bates uh, fifth scale P51B that I'm working on, and I got the glass fuse, and I've I've gotten I know I think I've showed you guys that I got the horizontal stabilizer and, and elevators and stuff finished, but the thing I've been working on lately was the was the tail, and um, I've kind of got well I've got the I got the rudder made and all of that stuff, so and I've got this little. Uh, Inside here, there's a. Well, I made it like a little kind of a, a little cutout for this, you know, for the counterweight thing, and it's got a little bit too big of a gap in there. It's just kind of rough fit in there right now. I haven't glued that in there. I'm not going to glue that in right now. I'm going to wait because I'm afraid if I glue that in, I'll probably need to get back there for something at some point, and wish I'd never done that. So I'm leaving that alone. I don't have to glue it in right now. So, but I've got it all got it all set, and I got a little the little cutout made here for that's where the that's where I made a piece of G10. I have that right in here. This little piece of G10. That's going to be glued in there. I'm going to put some holes in it. And I, I'll have to trim it up too. It's not perfectly shaped for what I want yet, but it's it's close. That'll be fit in there. It'll be it'll be glued in. And I'll fill that up, and that's where the arms are. And they they suggest that if you look in there, there's a little hole right there. Bates was saying that you you know you hook that up inside there, so it kind of hides the linkage, which I think is a, a good idea. But I just don't think that's enough. Like. I don't know, like leverage to really move this as much as I want. And a friend of mine's got a one of these a plane like this, similar to this, and they have the, the arms out, and it comes and the you know the pull pull cables come out of the out of the side of the fuse. And I'm I'm good with that. I don't need to have them hidden. So I think I'm going to do it like that instead, because I think it'll give me a little bit more leverage. I can make the arms a little longer, and that'll give it a little bit more. I don't know. In my mind, I think it's going to give me more more movement and more accuracy with my movement of my rudder so I think that'll be I think that'll be good but yeah and I've also got the in my little bag of goodies here I've got the you know the the trim tab is in there too it's you know I just got a you know I I made that and that fits you know right in there so that's gonna be all set so I've just been kind of working on that and um, I've got the plans for the wing right here it's huge it's 89 inches I had to extend my table out a little bit, so I added two feet to the table. So now I can get the wing on there. And I got this short kit from Bob Holman, and it comes with a lot of the stuff. I thought short kits were supposed to come with all of the sticks and, and whatever, but this one didn't come with all of the sticks. This one came with came with most of the stuff, and, and, the, and the stuff's real high quality. Like the, all the laser cut parts are really done really nicely. It's got all the, the plywood formers and stuff, and so. But I did have to miss, place an order with Balsa USA and get the. Uh, I had to order the main, you know, the main spars, and then back here I also had to order these, you know, the rear spar too. So I ordered that, and I got a bunch of stuff for that. And I've got these little, these little basswood sticks here. I ordered those as well from uh, from Balsa USA. That's these right here. So that's how I'll. So I'm gonna start on this here pretty soon. I got a project for a friend that I'm gonna work on, uh, Mustang that 
he wants to get finished up so we're gonna we're gonna start on that before I start on the wing and um, I don't think that's gonna take too long we'll probably have that probably knocked out in a month or so and then I'm gonna start on this wing and uh, this thing is gonna be pretty fun because wings usually typically kind of start coming together kind of fast because you I don't know it's once you start laying down the main spar you start putting stuff on there you you know you, it starts to take shape pretty quickly so that's pretty cool but uh, there's a few things I think I'm gonna try this uh, this servo uh, mount well I'm, I might try to get a hold of Sierra and see if if I can get some of those servo mounts but I've never had much luck with anybody answering the phone there so <laughs> so we'll see I may I may wind up making my own but they have these metal uh, servo holders that are pretty cool that I might try to attach here and I'm gonna try to do this if you can see that this arm mechanism that they have and I think that's actually pretty a pretty cool way to do that it would hide it inside there and I think it, and you they sell this whole little kit but you can build this online so I may I may try to pick that up I may do that because I think that's I think that's kind of cool so but that's about it that's all I got kind of going on this is the here's my cowling from my court my, from the Corsair when after it after I had a dead stick it it kind of it you know kind of chewed it up on the bottom and and I didn't do very much, obviously didn't do very much work on this at all. I just slobbered some some resin on there, and I kind of left it like that. I was like, well, we'll get it, you know, close. And then I was like, you know, let's just get a new cowling, and I'd kind of like to have it be as nice as I could possibly get it. So I'm keeping this one around just in case I need to, you know, if I get motivated to, like, try to, you know, sand it and fill it and all that stuff and spend a bunch of time fixing it up. But I may, I may just kind of keep this around as, like, a backup. But... It, uh, I had to re-glue in one of the mounts for the dummy radial, but it's, you know, it's hacked together good enough that I can use it for a kind of a backup if something happens, but for right now, I'm going to kind of leave it like it is, so that's sort of, we're kind of jumping around with the update, but that kind of got in the way there, so I figured we'd go for it, but, uh, yeah, so that's all I, that's all I have happening right now, so, uh, yeah, hope you guys like the video. Later.